get in, but they will go in there. Just have to work it around there with a the screwdriver. Ready? Hurricane simulator. 40 miles per hour. Belt got hot. Let's figure out why. And it did pop off. It came off of the idler pulley. And check those. Check the other one. They're good and free. Uh, the spec is five, so just we're just gonna run it in there. I'm gonna run the nut down until we have a light drag. If you need to replace your fuel lines, now would be the time to do that. These are still good, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Go ahead and reinstall your throttle cable. On Pinterest and a lady did a lot of she went through dozens of eggs that the plastic bearing bushing is thicker it's not going to matter and that will press down in there and you'll have a ball bearing to ride on instead of this spinning with the wheel and wearing out the spindle switch on sounds a whole lot better already well guys old faithful laid down on me yesterday and i had to put a new tire steering pump on her the front seal started leaking real bad and it was leaking fluid and I thought it was just the hose but when I took the hose off I seen where it was coming from. We'll get it flushed out of there and then we'll get the bowl pulled off. Sometimes it's easier if you can't pull it off by hand just give it a little tap. Thermistor and when the muffler and the engine starts heating up this starts moving you underway. A little awesome tip for you whenever you want to clean up, uh, you know, oil spills on your uh, garage floor or your shop floor. Yay! Corn doggy? What's your corn dog? Holy <laughs> crap! Super easy to get off. It's just one screw here. It's a uh, nine thirty seconds head or seven millimeter. Just pull those screws off and this bowl will just pop right off of here. You're going to screw your belt up in about five seconds because it's just going to be rubbing it. And like I said, that belt guy has got to be in between the belt and the pulley. <laughs> Somebody's having some fun, ain't they? These studs have five sixteenths nuts built into them. So just go ahead and get you a deep socket and uh, remove these. Uh, the complaint is that it will uh, will idle, and it uh, when you go to give it gas, it just bogs out and dies. Um, nine times out of ten, it's going to be a restricted exhaust system. We'll get it cranked up here, and I'll show you what it's doing. a uh, what they call a triple square I'll show you what it looks like and that'll be these this style socket right here they're also called splined sockets but in the automotive industry they're called excuse me triple squares X.
see if we can't just pull out from under it now. Out to be a hundred dollars off plus tax, so about 324. So, well, well worth it. Let's go ahead and get this thing pumped up here on the lift. Not too bad. also use it with the lead that is supplied with the machine uh, the tachometer checking out the camera today huh Well, what we're going to do is just basically peel this belt off by hand. That way it'll give us enough room to go towards the front now. Go ahead and loosen up the uh, belt guide bracket here. There's one screw here that I've already taken loose and there's one right here. And climbing. While we're sitting here waiting for this thing to warm up, we can check our circuitry for our air conditioning system. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and get the AC systems uh, checked and then we're gonna click OK. Good morning, Moramatic One. Uh, today, We've got some uh, tire sealant that I want to talk about and share with y'all. As you can tell, it's called Tireject. This battery uh, rebuilder company is called Easytronics, and uh, definitely good quality reviews. Um, basically, all you do is take your battery pack apart, slide the new upgraded batteries in. Pull this off. Careful, there might be a spring or something. Down TGR1038. This is for the 3 8 They also sell a half inch one. It comes with the tool, that square block, the clip, the C ring, uh, rather, and then an O ring. See where it's coming through. Now, just take it and pull it. Always pull more than you need because you're going to be able to trim it off. We have good spark. Before we replace the ignition module on this tractor, I'm going. We're going to do a thorough. Uh, cleaning as you can tell this number one cylinder is just completely packed it's got good idle good wide open throttle and good power good throttle response 0 0.7 tap that I needed to repair that cooler engine I worked on the other day. Cover your ears for getting blown up.
today we've got a little cool little tool on the bench and I'm going to go over this is called the country cutter it's kind of an off-topic review of a potato slicer it is Ruger's new price point 22 revolver and as you can tell this one is the silver on black it's Cerakote it's not blued so that's one of the ways that they can get the price of this revolver down to under two hundred dollars I'm just going to give it a little fuel. It should crank and run. Break that. Wiggle, 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 and it'll slide right on just like so. Let's go. Hi. Pulls off just like that. Go ahead and remove your float pin. Motion tube assembly. Hey guys, good afternoon, more medic one. Today, I just want to, I've got a little quick uh, little tutorial on why a 22 horsepower Kohler engine stopped charging. As you can tell, I pulled the flywheel off with the appropriate puller and uh, all the magnets on the inside of the flywheel have come off. Hey, good afternoon, more medic one. Today I want to do a little uh, update on the parts washer that uh, we put together here about a month or two ago, and uh, it's doing very well. And everybody wanted to know what I'm using for my solution. So this is a 20 gallon parts washer, so 10% purple power and 90% water. From here down to here was just it just crumbled and broke in two and fell down in the tank. And that's pretty thick metal. A brand new work sharp sharpener. I can't wait to get this sent out. Alrighty guys, it's time to give this thing away. In two weeks, I'm gonna uh, do a drawing but here's what you're gonna have to do. On my other channel, Life on Fountain Hill, and I'm gonna put a link in the description below. Click on that link and go to that channel, go to my channel, Life on Fountain Hill, and you're going to click on the giveaway video that I have posted on that channel. That channel is going to be, I'm going to be giving away a $100 Visa gift card. So you can win twice on this video but also there's going to be two more winners you're going to win the gear wrench set really cool robust little uh, pocket wrench set my go-to when I'm working on Chevrolet distributors where you can't get behind the firewall to get the distributor cap off that's the one but knife sharpener tool set and the $100 gift card. Here are the rules.
goals. You have to be a subscriber to both channels. Go to this channel and subscribe and comment on this video. Go to Life on Fountain Hill, subscribe to that channel and comment on the giveaway video for the $100 gift card. I'm also going to be giving away some uh, apparel on Life on Fountain Hill and the More Medic One. I'm going to be giving away one shirt per channel. But anyway guys, this is epic and I hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and uh, I'm really excited about this and we'll see you guys on the next video.